Sacred geometry is another piece to this puzzle, another artifact of the ancient, advanced, worldwide civilization. It wasn't until recently in our civilization that we discovered that nature has a mathematical system to its causalities and formations. This system is now known as fractal geometry. Fractals represent the formations of branches, clouds, weather systems, and the micro-macro structure of this universe. No matter what the formation or organism, the same mathematical sequences are used, most of them being very simple, yet their initial simplicity leads to complexity as they develop over time. The golden ratio, for instance, is a sequence that we find throughout nature again and again. The golden ratio curve takes the shape of what is known as the Fibonacci spiral. Not only does the spiral reveal itself throughout nature, but the numerical sequences themselves are expressed in all natural processes of development. Fractal geometry is what gave rise to the holographic universe theory. The reason being is the self-similarity is found throughout nature, from the microcosm to the macrocosm. So if we were to trace the atoms that comprise our bodies to their source, which theoretical physicists claim to be the singularity before the Big Bang, we would see that we are all from the same thing. We are all one. Wouldn't that mean that we are the universe observing itself? Think about it. The universe's evolution led to creatures who developed the specific capability of observing and questioning the world around them. This ability to recognize patterns enables us to recognize the blueprint of reality via observation. Our ancestors are the ones who are responsible for the megaliths around the world. They dedicated their lives to decoding the mysteries of reality, and this gave rise to sacred geometry. This system of knowledge was lost after the cataclysm that divided our species 12,500 years ago. We can see that different people, different cultures around the world, showcase the knowledge in the form of a pattern that is known as the seed of life. This pattern and the knowledge that it represents was systematically eliminated during specific periods in history an active effort to cut us off from our roots. Yet, it was preserved by different people around the world. Only to have been largely forgotten, The method of which the seed of life is to be drawn represents the genesis of the universe itself. It's a philosophy created through art. Each additional circle adds a new set of complex systems and incorporates further mathematical formulas. The first circle represents time and space, both of which come into existence via the Big Bang, the expansion of space-time from a singularity. The second circle is placed, interlacing the first, creating the Visca Pisces, a symbol of feminine divinity, also known as the Jesus fish. Adding the third circle will give us the Holy Trinity, which represents the mind, body, and spirit. The fourth creates the first fractal, the first semblance of a higher dimension, the inner world which is created by the outer world forms. Each addition to the pattern is representing the creation stories of the many religions around the world. The mathematical representation of creation is expressed in every level of the fractal universe. Essentially, the study of sacred geometry is the study of the universe and the nature of reality. Learning more about these formations and patterns triggers philosophical thought processes in the brain that lead to deeper understanding. Now when the seed of life undergoes mitosis, it will form into what is known as the flower of life, which is a cross-section of the egg of life, the first eight cells of the embryo within the womb. This is the original source of the Kabbalah, the tree of life, another symbol found throughout the ancient world. From there, we break the seal which allows the flower to blossom further, budding the fruit the fruit of knowledge. Comprised of 13 circles and its two-dimensional representation, this is the basis for every atom, molecular structure, and the reality that we inhabit. How do you ask? If we draw a line from the center of each circle to the center of every other circle, what happens is that every known shape begins to form before your eyes. 
This is called the Metatron's Cube. Every platonic solid can be found here. Look at the model depicting the atoms formulating. They are based on the mathematical properties of each platonic solid. It's been said that the circles and spirals represent the feminine essence, while the straight lines and tangents represent masculine essence. A philosophy of duality that this dimension is the amalgamation of polarities. Symbolism depicting sacred geometry can be found throughout the art and texts of Abrahamic religions. The Jewish Star of David, which is a representation of the unification of masculine and feminine energy, is directly related to the Metatron's cube. This sacred geometry, I want to emphasize, is a system of knowledge that pertains to understanding the universe and life itself. Our ancestors lived in the understanding of these mathematical and philosophical principles, a radically different human experience than from what we are currently experiencing. A society that had an intimate relationship with the world around them, in the sense that their view of nature wasn't just the rocks, the water, the animals, and the trees. Nature to them is everything. The universe, the bond between atoms, it's recognized as a living system with intelligence. And the truth is in the numbers. Here's what I mean. These are the platonic solids. These are their dimensions. Look at the numbers. If you take the sum total dimension and add all the digits that comprise the number individually, all these numbers are multiples of nine. 